Well, his situation is critical, is considered to be critical, yes. And can you confirm that he was only operated on once, just once, since he was admitted? Yes, he was operated upon only once. Will there be any uh, after effects? We're currently not able to talk, able to talk about after effects. We're talking about treatment, and we're working hour by hour. Does he have permanent lesions? He had some lesions when he was admitted, and uh, these were seen on the scan. He has a great number of lesions, but for the moment, we cannot speculate at all. We uh, can just see what we're noticing. Il est dans une situation critique. On peut parler d'un pronostic vital qui est engagé dans notre and, uh, jargon. Uh, in our jargon, our medical jargon, uh, we would say that he is in a critical condition, and his condition is considered to be extremely serious. And he is in intensive care. Je, je peux pas me prononcer Notre équipe, uh, question avec was les, inaudible. I can't express myself as far as that question is concerned. Our neurosurgical uh, team, we're working all together, day and night, we're at his bedside. But it's far too early to be able to say anything as far as prognosis is concerned. When will we have some more news? Well, as soon as we feel that it would be useful for you. We believe that taking into consideration the very violent shock, his helmet did protect him to a certain extent. Of course, somebody would have had this kind of accident without a helmet certainly wouldn't have got to here. Considering he's a very highly qualified sportsman, do you think that will help him oui, to fight? Possible. Well, that's possible, yes, that's possible. And his family, do they come and see him? Do they come and spend 10 minutes Nous with him? Avec la we are in contact with the family. The family is at his bedside. We don't intend to carry out a second operation. We don't feel it's necessary at the moment. Do you think the previous lesions affected him because he's had some other falls? We didn't take that into consideration. But the condition that he's in at the moment is due to the current trauma. Is this a kind of accident that often happens when people are skiing? Is it a typical skiing accident? Sadly, yes. Sadly, yes. And in fact, uh, we've uh, really insisted upon people wearing uh, helmets because we uh, witness these kind of accidents on a regular basis every year and it is something that we uh, certainly uh, do note and uh, we worked on very often with our colleagues uh, in the neurosurgery section and sadly it really is something that's extremely frequent. Do you think that his protection was sufficient? You mean the helmet? Well, from all evidence, the helmet didn't suffice. But as uh, Professor Payan has just said, it was particularly a tough shock. But he was wearing his helmet. And did you feel that going to Moutier Hospital was a waste of time? No, insofar as... De sa prise en charge à Méribel... In, from Meribel to Moutier, he was looked after, and, and in Moutier, he was very briefly looked after to try to put him in a condition to be able to be take, brought to hospital. And uh, obviously, the procedures, their procedures that were respected and that allowed us to work, allow us to work with all the centers throughout our region, because after all, we do have a network that works very well to deal with this kind of trauma. So the procedure and this stop that just took a few minutes so didn't really affect the situation. 
We know that Michael Schumacher has got a great number of sponsors and sponsors often like their doctors to be involved. Well, we have no idea about this particular matter for the moment. Can we ask you a couple of questions? They're asking questions of Mr. Sayan, who is the head of the hospital. I came here not as a doctor, but as a friend. So I can't answer any technical questions. Uh, they were very well answered by colleagues. Uh, and as a friend, I would like to thank them for all the work they've carried out uh, from a surgical point of view, from an intensive care point of view. I'd like to thank the doctors and all the paramedical teams and the nurses. So it's just as a friend I'm here. And so I can't answer questions that are not of my domain. And in fact, he is, Gérard Saillant was working at uh, the Hôpital saint pétrie in Paris, but uh, now he's a very close friend of uh, Michael Schumacher. And I'm just as concerned as his wife and his children. We're all concerned by his uh, state. And it's been extremely well explained. The doctors can't tell you anymore. It's not that they don't want to tell you anymore. They're not able to. They are working hour by hour. And it's at that level that one can make decisions. Do you think that he has a sort of very positive attitude and as a winner? Well, do you think that will help him? Well, that question was already asked earlier on. Well, this kind of accident, uh, somebody who's 70 obviously is not going to be able to deal with it less well than somebody who's 45, and somebody who's 45 is probably going to deal with it less well than somebody who's younger. But, and, but Michael obviously is in a very good state of health, and of course that's already a good thing. At the moment, uh, he is in a state of hypothermia, and this is treatment, in other words, where, in fact, uh, controlling his body temperature to keep it between 34 and 35 degrees, and that's according to international recommendations in this kind of uh, situation where the brain's been damaged. Il est, and uh, he il est, uh, sous anesthésie générale, induite par is des under general anesthetic pour, uh, given by medication to try to reduce uh, as much uh, as possible uh, any kind of stimuli soin, which are linked uh, to the, the treatment or uh, which could possibly, in fact, to use some more oxygen within his ba brain. So currently our objective is to reduce as uh, much as possible any uh, kind of uh, external et, stimuli uh, and to try to ensure good oxygenation of his brain. I think that you can certainly understand uh, by respect for the family. We're not going to into anatomical details. I did tell you that there were a number of uh, serious legions, but I'm not going to give you any details. Was he going very fast when he uh, fell? No. On pense que, vu, no uh, taking into consideration nous, ce a observé, well, what we observed very simply casque, was that despite a helmet, he arrived with legions that were quite important. So we think that in fact uh, the shock must have taken place at high speed. And what was noted initially that he had an impact on the right side, he fell on his side. And at the time of the accident, he was agitated, uh, but he was not responding to questions. He didn't have a neuro normal neurological reaction. Um, C'est difficile comme ça de vous répondre. Uh, je dirais qu'on travaille uh, heure par heure. Uh, We're working hour by on hour. Essayer de gagner du We temps. We are going to on try to essayer de gain se time. Un We're going to try to give dire, ourselves some time. Le traitement, les traitements qu'il faut. But the treatment or the heure, treatments on, that on are going to be attend. introduced. We know what we're hoping from for from these treatments, but currently I am not able to give you any more information, and I certainly can't tell you 
what kind of uh, direction we're going in or what kind of prognosis we can have. Non, on a what tenu are the uh, after-effects like to be? De son Look, état today actuel, we wanted to tell you about his current state of health and we all agree that we can't cette, go above and beyond that information. Et on n'ira pas jusqu'à éventuellement dire quelque chose sur le not able to tell you what's going to happen as far as the future is concerned because it's too early to talk about it. The question is, from a general point of view, what uh, happens in this kind of case? There isn't a general case. There are a number of uh, traumas uh, from the most benign to the most serious. So we can't really give you a response as far as what happens generally. No, I have said the essential. Given you de ce qu'on a fait, basic information, I've told you what we've done, lui, the surgeons and doctors uh, who've surrounded him. I've also uh, explained to you the critical states that he finds himself uh, pas, at the current moment, and I can't go any further. So can Une you talk about critique. a stable situation? No, a critical situation. Oui. Par, par définition, elle peut and by definition, yes, it can develop. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I suggest that uh, we stop there. We will communicate again depending on the situation.